here. Welcome to uh, webinar number two for XU Programming Kit Fundamentals and Demonstration. <clears throat> so I'll now uh, look into the, uh, the PowerPoint and uh, show you the content. As you can see, uh, what we'll go over in, uh, through the webinar. Uh, what is it? What's in the box? Uh, what products are programmed by it? Connecting with the correct software. Connecting and programming the XU2 and disconnecting. Uh, connecting and programming the, the INUP4 and then disconnecting and then we'll have some questions at the end. So what is it and what's in the box? So the XU programming kit as you can see here is an adapter cable set made to work with uh, free to download software from Intec instruments to communicate with a number of Intec transmitters and a, and a PC, uh, sort of Microsoft PC. It's important it has to be Microsoft, unfortunately Apple is not supported. Uh, in the box is the adapter, two leads, you can see here, two leads, the little adapter here, uh, a USB extension lead, and an instruction manual. <clears throat> the, the products that are programmed by it, uh, most commonly are the, the UP4, as you can see here. Uh, this is a programmable display, uh, virtually takes any input and has, can have uh, relay outputs and a 4 to 20 milliamp analog retrans. Uh, we have the UP4 DIN model, which is uh, a newer model. Um, it is DIN rail mounted and has virtually all the same uh, things as the UP4 uh, panel mount model. Uh, we also have the XU2 here, which is a programmable transmitter. Uh, it can take signals from potentiometers, temperature probes, um, voltage up to 50 volts, um, milliamps, 4 to 20, 0 to 20, and converts it um, to uh, 4 to 20 milliamp output. It's isolated with about 3,750 uh, volts of isolation. And the XU4, which is like its partner, um, which this is virtually the same as the XU2, full isolation, but it has the additional 0 to 10 volt output. So these inputs and outputs are fully configurable with the software that I'm about to demonstrate. Um, and also the, the smaller ones, the XU2HN and the XU2HI, uh, <clears throat> these are typically used in temperature probes. So the XU2HN is non-isolated and typically used for, for um, RTD temperature probes. Um, XU2HI has, has that uh, 3,750 volt isolation and so therefore it is um, good for thermocouples, which is where, where it would most likely be used. Um, moving on, we have the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Z2400A2IO, which is a wireless point-to-point uh, uh, -point, um, transmitter. So with this, you can put in an analog signal, uh, a relay, or a digital input, and it will send it um, wirelessly from point to, to another point and have the, the same thing activated at the other end. It can be repeated up to nine times, uh, 19 times, and uh, so you can buy a repeater and you have, and have uh, several repeaters if you wish. Um, the, it is important that the aerials are line of sight and all those um, inputs and outputs are all configurable with the XU programming uh, software kit. Uh, next is the 2400A16 multiplexer. Now this is uh, um, a, a very versatile uh, beast in that it has uh, 16 analog inputs. You can think of it as a uh, multi-box for sensors. So you can have up to 16 uh, inputs. <clears throat> All of these inputs are completely configurable from each other and are fully isolated from each other. Uh, communications is typically RS-485 or Ethernet. Um, there are voltage options as well. Okay, moving on. Uh, so the, mo the more, most important thing about using the software um, <clears throat> is that you have to use the right, the, the right software for the item you're going to use. So you can't use UP software for the XU uh, transmitters. So make sure that when you use the XU2, the XU4, the XU2HN or the XU2HI, that you use the XU programming software. Uh, this is a free download from the Intec website and feel free to um, help yourself to that at any time. If you need support, don't forget to call us because we can help you out. Um, going down, we have the UP configure. Now this works with the UP4, the UP4 DIN, and the A2IO uh, wireless uh, 
um, transmitters. And, uh, the, and then there's the Intext uh, micro station programmer uh, that works with the 2400A16 multiplexer. And that's used for setting up um, all the inputs and your outputs. Okay. So connecting the XU2. As you can see, we've got the PC. You just need to plug in the adapter into your USB port and then use the correct lead. In this case, it's the, the little audio lead that plugs into the, um, the USB stick and, and then plug that into the, into the XU2. So here I have one. So you can see here, hopefully that comes up on, on focus. We have our XU2. Now I've already pre plugged this in, so it's important that you plug it into, into that hole. Then it's as simple as going to the software. So you see here, this is what will come up when you turn it on. It's ready to be connected. So if what I do now is press the connect button, as you can see here on the screen. And it automatically connect and identify what it's being plugged into. As you can see here, you have the wiring diagram uh, pertaining to, to the XU2. If it was the XU4, it will come up with the XU4. Now, the, the first thing you need to do is to choose your input, which is as simple as drop down box like this. And here you can see all the options. You have uh, J type, K, R, S, T, B, N, and E thermocouples. We also have our PT100 types. Um, DIN is the standard that we use here in New Zealand. Um, you can get uh, copper tens, um, and we also have PT1000, but we uh, typically stick with the, the DIN model. So if you're not sure about between the three, that is the DIN one. So I'll just click activate the, uh, the DIN. Also there's uh, milliamps, and you have millivolts and volts. So we do up to 50 uh, volts DC. Um, we also have uh, two types of potentiometer, low and medium and, and high. And then you have uh, a custom um, RTD if you need to. So in this case, we'll just select the milliamps. And you can see it's, uh, it will uh, then show you the range that you can use. Don't worry about the filter. It's not so much of a problem. Not, it's not something you need to worry about. The range here, 4 to 20, if you want to do half the range, you can do 12 to 20, or you can do 4 to 12, or you can do a, a, a user-defined range, um, as, as you wish. Um, in this case, we're just doing 4 to 20, and it's as simple as just pressing the program button. It'll program it, and it's done. Now, the next thing is, is now you're happy with it, you can see that it's uh, doing some tests. Typically, this is uh, done. This is done uh, with, on a dead unit, not live. Uh, that is important. So now we just disconnect, and the XU2 is now programmed. Now the next most important thing is to label it. When you when people uh, are programming, you need to label it. So people, with the next person down the line, um, if they need to replace it they'll see the settings on it and get the next one uh, programmed to the, the correct level. And we'll go to the UP4, which is our next model. So I'll just disconnect the XU2. And here we have our UP4 display. Now, great little display. It can have uh, yeah, two relay outputs. They are only three amp rated outputs. Um, although the UP4 DIN model, which is DIN rail mounted, um, actually has a, a 3 amp rated relay and has a 10 amp rated relay. So if you need to switch something a bit more uh, uh, beefy, yeah, there you go, you can do that. But um, with this one, as you can see on the front, this one has the socket in the back, just here. So we plug it in, and it'll come up with some uh, scenes on the front. We just put that down. And now we can uh, go into the software. So I now activate the 
UP4 configure software. And here you have it. You can see that uh, <clears throat> it's all ready to connect. So just press connect. It'll read the current settings and tell them what they are, tell you what they are. Um, and you can see here, once again, a simple drop down boxes. So you just go choose your input mode. In this case, it, it was, it's pre programmed to PT100 in temperature. So we'll change it to 2 milliamps. But as you can see, the input modes uh, range you can have milliamps, uh, volts DC, digital pulse input, potentiometer input, or an AC current sensor. So uh, in this case, we're going to go to milliamps. And the input range can be 0 to 20. So we'll just look at the ranges option, options there 0 to 20 or 4 to 20. So in this case, we're going to do 4 to 20. Don't worry about the offset adjust. Don't have to worry about the filter time either. So you can see here the, the scaling and offset is milliamps 4 to 20. And our output retrans. So if you want to rescale your milliamp uh, setting to show something else other than 4 milliamps, like for example, you're saying 4 milliamps is 0%, uh, and uh, the, the uppermost setting of 20 milliamps is 100%, this is where you do it. And here is the, the display setting. So we then change that to zero. We change the display value of 20 milliamps to 100. And then it's simple as pressing apply. So that's that set. So with this model, it does come in two models um, in the uh, panel mount uh, UP4. Um, you have one that's just view only. So that means there's no relay outputs. But in this case, we have one that has the relay outputs. You can see on the uh, description here, um, all the um, terminations here. You go to power, you go to analog and output. Um, the user input can be utilized, which is a uh, like a, a reset switch. Um, where we have our relay set points. Now, as you can have a 4 to 20 milliamp analog input, which would, in a typical example, would be uh, a level transducer, submersible level transducer in a well. Um, giving you variable level. You then can set the set points for, say, a, a high and low level uh, alarm. So we go to the set points tab, just up here. And then we can then turn it from the off position into the alarm condition. And we can set our functions to above the alarm value, or below the alarm value, or above um, or below with a, a hysteresis. Um, or between or outside of certain parameters. So, so we just go below the alarm value, trip value of 20, for example. You can have a make delay, you can have a break delay, you can have a startup inhibit or a manual relay reset, and that is widened externally, and you can enable latching. So as simple as that, press apply, and it's, and it's, and it's been programmed. I'll uh, go back to the input output settings and it's as simple as pressing disconnect. And now the uh, display is programmed. Uh, so that's as simple as that when it comes to the UP4 and the XU2 programming and the programming kit. It doesn't take long to, to program the XU2 and I appreciate your time here as you uh, coming along to, to uh, view our webinar a bit off the fly. And uh, um, if, or even uh, actually uh, the people that are here uh, please text me through your um, email address so that I can send you a copy of the webinar for help in the future. Uh, we will post it to our website and um, and also have it uh, now that uh, Intech is on uh, all the media platforms. We've got Facebook, we've got uh, LinkedIn, uh, we have uh, Pinterest and Instagram. Um, uh, who else is there? Oh, and we have Twitter as well. <laughs> so I've managed to get uh, all those activated and, and typically trying to post something every week. But um, yeah, send, send me through your, your email address and we'll get you uh, a copy of this. And, and uh, also there will be available a uh, PowerPoint presentation with just um, following, following the instructions that I've just, uh, sorry, giving instructions that I've just uh, relayed to you. So uh, thank you very much for, for listening in and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.